Hey what's up YouTube welcome to my After Effects tutorial in this episode I'm gonna show you how to create some motion graphic elements using trapboard form in Adobe After Effects Alright so I've created four different examples as to what you're gonna be creating today and this is a basic idea as to what you can do using this technique now of course you can add some depth of field effects for getting some really good close up shots and getting some really nice blurriness in your shots and of course you can you know tweak everything down and create something like this this is like that sand kind of effect sand moving in time and again you have some good depth of field happening which creates that close up very close to camera effect so I'm going to show you how to do all of this and in the end awesome people I'm going to show you how to tweak your settings a little bit so you can create something completely different completely original and still call this your technique and use it as your own idea in your own motion graphics I'm, I'm, I'm right now working uh, on a project and uh, that's the whole inspiration and that's how I came up with this technique so I wanted to share uh, with you how did I create something like this alright so I'm gonna create a new composition control N. I'm gonna call this main YouTube because it's a YouTube tutorial uh, I'm gonna create a new solid track code form I'm gonna call this form I'm gonna go to trap code I'm gonna go to effects and presets trap code and I'm gonna look for form drop it onto my composition actually on my layer I am gonna open up base form and I'm gonna go to particle Z I'm gonna bring it down to one so we just have one particle sheet to work with this is gonna go a lot easier on the rendering I'm gonna increase the size of X and Y so I'm gonna take it from 200 to 350 and 350 next awesome people I'm gonna increase the particle in X and in Y so I'm gonna increase from 70 to 100 and 100 so we have a little more particle a little more detail to work with that's gonna uh, look a lot better now awesome people I'm gonna open up particles I'm gonna change the color first of all to bluish because that really looks good go there and make sure awesome people that your transfer mode is set to add and not normal so make sure that is there next awesome people I'm gonna go to dispo actually you know what dispose and twist will come later this is that um, you know FX technique next awesome people I'm gonna go to fractal field and I'm gonna uh, increase the FX size from 0 to 2 now this awesome people is a very sensitive setting you would not want to go 50 or you know that extreme to it I, I, I would actually recommend just going 3 3 would be the highest don't go more than that so I'm gonna go for 2 and awesome people instead like you know some of you may be knowing like if, if you have uh, practice after effects a bit or and if you have worked with particle emitters that trap code this whole company creates 3d particles for after effects so if I was to create a camera using my keyboard shortcut control shift alt C and if I was to rotate by clicking on the unified camera tool you can see that this is actually 3d particles this is not 2d in any way these are actual 3d particles so you know we can use this camera for rotating and creating effects like this but I highly recommend you don't do anything like that and I'll tell you why say if you have you know set up your camera like this or say like this and it's really set up on a nice angle you have set up a good animation but the problem is now awesome people if I was to add say text element say uh, this is my original thing and if I went crazy like that with my camera if I was to add text elements to this let me show you what exactly would happen I will, I'm gonna go with this and call something like magical right it matches this thing let me just give it a nice color too a nice bluish blue and if I was to make this 3d awesome people you can see that my text just disappears this is because my camera in my composition has not been set up right it has just been you know I just went haywire with it I don't know where my 3d text is now and I'm gonna basically have lots and lots of problems so I'll show you a bit okay there, there it is found it so, I'll, so I'm gonna show you a much better way of dealing with camera and creating this animation uh, so that if you get a client project tomorrow you can use something very similar to this and add your text elements and extra elements so first of all just you know delete these two layers so we are back to square one and uh, what I'm gonna do awesome people for creating this rotation effect I'm gonna actually use trap code form I'm not gonna create the camera and uh, you know create okay first create the camera I'm not gonna do something like this this looks similar to this but again if I was to add my text layer to this it would be very very messy I would just you know get lost and not get anywhere okay so I'm gonna click on form and I'm gonna start I'm gonna go to base form and there are my rotation property so x rotation y rotation and z rotation I'm gonna increase this to say somewhere around 110 I'm gonna uh, take the y rotation 
up to say 15 and actually I'm gonna bring this down to around there that is 95, 95 there you go that looks a lot better to me and we have a little bit of motion now this motion awesome people if you are wondering is created by the fractal field the fractal field affects size animation that we just added like we just changed that from 0 to 2 that is causing that slight animation okay so next awesome people for creating something like this is to change the displacement mode so XYZ link change that to XYZ individual the main reason why we are doing something like this is so that we can manipulate all the different axes uh, independently so I'm gonna change the X axis to say somewhere around 100 and I'm gonna take the Y axis to 50 and then I'm gonna get something like this I actually think that the Y axis is a little um, lower and there we go now in this awesome people you can see that the animation is very very fast and in my original demonstration the animation you can see is very very slow it gives that you know nice enchanted magical piano feel so why is this and how do I fix this if you want this animation to go slowly don't swear it people come down and go to flow evolution and bring this number down so if I bring this down to say say 15 this would go a lot slower now see that so you basically have to adjust and play around with these settings till the time you feel comfortable so I'm gonna actually uh, bring down X displays to say somewhere around 15 and that looks a lot better to me now awesome people what I'm gonna do now well now awesome people you have two options you can go for like, like because this is very far out in Z space you can use Z center for positioning the center uh, you know bringing the particles closer to the view or taking them away from the view you can use this setting or you can create a new camera I would now recommend that you create a new camera because when you do this when you use a camera for zooming into the particles you can activate depth of field and it's gonna give you this this really good this really nice you know fadish animation look so this is this makes it see and this is something that you know cinematographers and Hollywood people and advertisement uses a lot as they've seen this uh, you know ad so many times in advertisements where they use this for creating a depth this signifies that there is depth you know there are particles beyond this and it really looks cinematic and it really looks good so we have created a new camera I'm gonna zoom in now like this and move it a little bit like this and superb this looks good to me and now awesome people I'm gonna start its animation like this I'm gonna go to say somewhere around 8 seconds and I'm gonna pull back now some of you may be wondering how am I doing that awesome people I'm using the unified camera tool and this basically is a very awesome tool this is like all three of these tools combined into one so I'm using my right mouse button and you can see that my mouse pointer will change now and then I'm just pushing back See that I'm gonna push somewhere over here because I don't want to reveal that there is nothing over here something like this right this looks really nice now awesome people what you can do is you can add like a little bit of a rotation to it so I'm gonna hold on the shift key I'm gonna hit the R key on my keyboard and I'm gonna add a Z rotation so take this from say 10 to say zero so this is a very slight rotation but it still adds that you know nice like zoom kind of effect so this with some really nice piano-ish music would make some great graphics and now awesome people time for adding some really cool effects okay so I was able to complete this in a very short amount of time that's you no know, I'm patting myself right now yeah anyways uh, I'm gonna go to disperse and twist and I'm gonna change this disperse to two and this is gonna add like actually not to two is a little intense I'm gonna change it back to one and you can see it adds that really nice feel to it like everything you know that sandish effect right and also people what you can do is you can also animate the aperture now you select the camera and hit AA two times on your keyboard and you're gonna uh, bring up all these camera options right here so what you can do is first of all you have to activate depth of field so I'm gonna switch it on and boom there you go you know you have um, basically just glorified everything <laughs> glorified <laughs> you just uh, like you know put everything to glow and what's actually happening is uh, aperture this is a setting that's actually affecting everything aperture is basically like a setting 
which is going to tell After Effects what to keep in focus. So we can actually animate this and uh, say that this to be 10. And when you go ahead in time, you're going to bring this down. Or actually what you can do is you can keep this over here and then bring it up to 10. So it would look something like this. See that? Nice. So again, it, it, it gives you that nice, uh, you know, depth of field look. And you can position it like this because we are still using the camera. So I'm using my camera's unified tool. The shortcut, of course, is the C key on the keyboard. So I'm going to position. I'm right now I'm using the middle mouse button. So click there. And whoosh. See that? It, it really looks good. All right, so this was my basic tutorial on how to create a motion graphic element, particles motion graphic element. Now, awesome people, let's add some uniqueness to it. Now, uh, again, this is, of course, going to be randomized every time because we have the random seed on and I'm not going to get into that. But basically, this is going to come different for everyone. So you, your competitors, your friends can watch this tutorial and, you know, every time you'll have something different. And one more thing, yeah, uh, dispose and twist. You can add a twist setting to this, say three. And you'll have like completely different stuff again. So this is a really cool technique. Awesome people, uh, share my tutorial. And if you want to add some more randomization to this, um, open up Quick Maps. Go over here to Quick Maps. Now I'm not going to explain you exactly how Quick Maps work. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a quick run through as to how they are. So basically, you go to Map One, you open this, and you're going to get this reddish box kind of thing. You take any one of these presets, okay? Now, 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 now don't worry about what this is or what this is because I'm going to explain this in uh, some different tutorials. So it's on my channel, Form Tutorials, and you're going to get something. And basically, just select one of this. Now, nothing is going to happen because we haven't mapped one over anything. You can see it says off over here. So I'm going to change this from size to fractal strength. And I'm going to change this from off to Y. And boom, there you go, awesome people. You get a little bit of randomization. Now. If you want to know how does this work, how does this whole thing work, I'll have to come cover this in a different chapter or in a different tutorial because if I was to cover this now, forget, this would go on for like 20-30 minutes. I don't want to go for the, go over there right now, but this is a great way of, um, you know, having different settings blend in differently with your design. So, and the best part about uh, using Quick Maps, awesome people, is that you have more than one map to work with. So you have map 2, you can go to size. Over here, you can change it to Y. And again, nothing happens because we haven't set this red box thingy. I'm going to click on this mountain-like parameter and there we go. We just added a little more uh, like a fadeish effect to all our particles and it really looks good. Check it out. Now, now of course, awesome people, this as a standalone uh, motion element is not looking that great. But if you were to combine and spend some little time in... Uh, if, if you give this a little time and you spend some time developing this, this would make a great element for trailers, for credit titles, for your short films, or for, you know, if, if, if you're working with someone for their short films, and it overall has that eye-catching feel to it. So I made a tutorial on this because I was working on a project and that project had me uh, create something like this. My name is CJ Style. Thank you so much for joining me on this tutorial. Uh, please subscribe. This was my first tutorial on Zen Gen Learning. My name is CJ Style. Please subscribe. Like me on Facebook. Link in the description. Um, you know, do all of that. And my color theme has been changed. Bad. Um, add me on Facebook. If you have any doubts, ask me over there. I'll be more than happy to sit down, chat with you, explain you the whole thing, whether it's about cardio, after effects, or anything. My name is CJ Style. Thank you so much for watching. You take care and peace out.